Would you like to support Cubs Out Loud? One way is to join us over on Patreon. For as little as a buck a month, patrons get early access to our shows, the pre and post show, and various other rewards. You can learn more at patreon.com slash Cubs Out Loud. Thanks to all of our patrons for their support in making this podcast. Sunday, November 5th, 2023. I'm Jeff. Who's your bear? That's right. I am your bear. I'm Damon. I don't brew the tea. I just serve it. And that makes me Gary. Everyone else is thinking it, and I just say it. Welcome to Comes Out Loud, the Bear Podcast, of Determined Length, episode number 718. And did you know that McDonald's actually serves sweet tea lemonade? I cannot say that I knew that, but I am also not surprised. It was the first Did time I... I saw it when I went to McDonald's today. Just to show you how much that I don't really have much going on. My big, big news deals with the fact that I've been going to McDonald's. I've been to McDonald's at least three times within the past couple of weeks. Wow. Because I can now eat burgers. Yay. Or at least Congrats. I've, I've built the confidence to actually eat burgers. It takes me longer than I mm-hmm. normally would because previously I was like, oh, 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 oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't do that right now. Uh so now I I've been going through burgers and trying to to, to figure out okay, what can I can can I actually successfully carefully eat Mm -hmm. Uh, so uh, i did try a mcchicken sandwich to build up to a very special um dish uh but the mcchicken sandwich spreading is a little too hard so Mm. yeah but i this all actually started when i had a craving for chicken nuggets specifically Mm. mcnuggets for one reason mm-hmm. or another, I think it was because I was tr- wanting the unctuous tempura fried uh, mm. batter. So I had that. It was successful. And I was like, that was a bit of a jaunt to get to McDonald's from work. So I posted, I was like, oh, I had McDonald's. I said, I think in, in, in my, my, my Bear Gamer Discord, uh, Grizzly Falls. Um, and uh, somebody says, well, those are good, but I like Wendy's better. Not as a, you're right, I'm wrong, but more of, mm-hmm, 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 cool. A preference. I, I I like the Wendy's one better than the Wendy's. Just, just give you my right. opinion. And so I'm like, oh, I'll try that. So then I tried the Wendy's nugget. Then eventually I'm like, hmm, I'm eating this kind of slowly. Maybe I can do the same thing. And I was told by my dentist, yeah, I could, as long as it's like a soft burger, I could eat burgers and so i'm like cool and then i got like the wendy's juniors i I stuck with wendy's you got the wendy's junior so i got a small one Mm -hmm. you know being like hey if this is it doesn't work out i'm not wasting much food yeah 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 perfect and then the floodgates opened (laughs) (laughs) and i went to was like well, the closest one to work is Whataburger. So I went there and got a patty milk, which isn't a burger bun. It's a Texas toast. Mm-hmm. It worked out. Mm-hmm. And I was like, I want more. So I went to Sonic, which was also a little further, <laughs> further. <laughs> found out, found out tater tots worked out well, as well as burgers. And I'm like, ah, whole new world. <laughs> And I was like, a whole new world. That's when I decided, hey, why don't I get my my standard 
a double cheeseburger and McChicken sandwich. And while I'm probably not ready for the big honking McGangbang, um, you know, eat them one at a time, you know, basically kind of like a gangbang that's just, you know, you know uh, the, it's just a threesome. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> and that's when I found out the, chicken, the McChicken sandwich spreading is causing problems. But the double cheeseburger is perfect. That's my second one, by. Yay. So, next month, patrons, wait till you hear how Jeff decides that he's going to end the year as a 50 load bottom. <laughs> and... <laughs> I didn't work up to that. I mean, why, why, why stop at burgers? I mean, now, now that's, that you've that's... tested the waters, just look, look, the. That... <laughs> maybe maybe yeah. at the end of the year, year next year I could probably work on that I, I think I need some time to work up to that because I will say this <laughs> this I have not had sex in years <laughs> I'll tell you this one thing well, I mean, one part of me well, is really tight success, though. now you're having burgers you had burgers in a while so you know you never know what can happen Although I, I mean, don't know, so I don't. We have the technology. You can <laughs> dial a dick. It doesn't take anything. <laughs> I know, no, I t- but I. You can even uh, set up a glory hole in the entrance of your home. Oh God! I, which would be perfect. Uh, but the only thing is, I'm in an apartment complex, which doesn't, which it, there isn't a really good setup for for setting yeah. that up. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. Although, if I had like a frame or something <laughs> right there, they could open the like, door, close uh, the door, and have, have the sheet perhaps. with the big old hole just right there, and they just walk yeah. in. But um, I'm also, while I don't mind sucking dick, I'm not a great dick, a dick sucker. I satisfy people, but I can't. I don't have stamina for it. I've never had had stamina for it. I could do it for a while, but. And again, I'm out of practice. But in any case, I can have That's a burger fair. now. The only thing is, something weird also happened. I don't think it was related. Maybe it was. Who knows? And who knew? Uh, I lost one of my teeth. Actually, what? let me let me rephrase that. Uh. It came out. I I I have it, but so you didn't really lose it. Yeah, it, but it's it's not in the denture anymore. So right, well, ah. I need to still get with my dentist and be like, hey, mm. I lost a tooth, which was kind of weird. Uh, I thought these things were just like one solid thing, but it apparently not. <laughs> that was my thought as well. Now I'm sitting here thinking about it now. I was like, uh, well, that just kind of blows apart my whole left canine thoughts. i'm having so many weird thoughts because like if that's the case, maybe, then, maybe it's just know, these like like, mm-mm. like these first four are set the canine isn't and then the molars are just kind of like sunken into the 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 frame but uh but yeah just one of my teeth uh, i was just at work just sitting there and i felt the tooth loose and i'm like this is weird and like, did I have like some sort of thing? And whoop, it came right out. <laughs> and like, I, I look at my denture and it's like, I could see where this tooth would have been like paired on and somehow it got loose from it. I don't know what happened. That's but so weird. It doesn't I kept, mm. I kept the tooth, so I still have it. Maybe yeah, they just need crazy a... glue it back in or something. I don't know. Yeah, but, yeah, that's well. I don't know for sure, but I, that's something I would about because that's not cool. I just, I, mm, I'm having so many thoughts, and the first one is like, I'm, I'm with you, Jeff. Like, why isn't it like a solid? It I should mean, be a solid thing. The teeth might be a, the 
the teeth might actually be in different material than the uh, frame. So Fair. they they have to be so like the back teeth especially are are like mm -hmm. pressed in and molded and adhered mm. essentially to it. So that might be what it is because they are different. It's not like it's just a mold of teeth, but I mean that's that's how it makes it look look natural. Having. Needless to say, when you look at my front teeth, it doesn't look like there's any gap there. That's the texture. Huh. Huh. But yeah, I I thought it was really weird, and I've been really lazy and forgetting to, well, uh, to. It just happened like Wednesday, so. Yeah, uh, it's a matter of calling it in and doing doing all the things and getting set in the appointment and all that stuff. That's yeah. gonna that takes time, but yeah. Well, congratulations. On I've your upgraded birthday. on my my food uh, ventures, but I'm still doing doing things like mac and cheese casserole. And uh, my favorite one, which lasts me for a really long time, is just like a pound of meat. I say it that way because uh, I'm exploring the types of meats. Uh, lately, it's been Italian sausage that I brown mm. up, take a jar of uh, spaghetti sauce and a jar of uh, Alfredo sauce and a big old package of rotini. <laughs> Cook up the rotini, brown the, brown the meat, mix up the sauce with the meat, heat it up a little, toss it in, and then I've got mm. this big old pot. It lasts me for days. As well as various other things, I, I did get, uh, I did grab some like because I'm in now can eat burgers. I, I decided to get some like those frozen sliders. Mm -hmm. I just happened to get White Castle, but whatever. The only thing is White Castle one, like all it has is bun, meat, and slivered onions. Mm -hmm. And pickles, and sometimes cheese. And cheese. And the cheese. I did get the cheeseburgers, but um, I don't think I don't think the frozen ones has pickles. Oh, oh, well, that makes so, sense. So it doesn't have like ketchup or mustard or anything on it. So uh, I've been when I have have those, I just put some ketchup and mustard as a dip. <laughs> Mm -hmm. The dumb adventures in food and dentures. <laughs> Maybe that's why I should have called this instead of burgers. <laughs> Anyways, uh. that was my life this October. Damon, cool, cool, cool. Um. October is actually kind of busy. I'm realizing. Um, big thing that some of the big things that happened. Um, I did go to Chicago for um, several days. Um, I was the contestant handler for the Chicago, or excuse me, Midwest Fetish and Leather Competition. I'm probably calling it something that it's not. Um, I can probably look it up really quickly before. Um, Midwest Fetter, yeah, I'm right. Midwest Fetter, 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 Contest. Anyway, Lettuce Leather. Uh, um, uh, it was the Midwest Fetish Contest and the Illinois Person of Leather um, Contest. Um, it was a lot of fun. Um, I really enjoyed myself. It was a little crazy, um, but that's how it is. Um, I do want to give a shout out to um, Slade. And TJ, who are the producers, congratulations to the winners, winners, and also um, a big, 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 big thank you to um, Pub Crash and um, Brutus, who were my, um, they were the tally masters, but they also lived very close to the hotel, so I kind of tagged along with them as we went to, um, around the city for the events, 
which was very beneficial. Um, so thank them so, so very much. Um, lots of fun. Um, I did another photo shoot for Wolfbound, so that should be out. So yay for that. Um, uh, October is my birthday month. I'm the Scorpio, one of the Scorpios here, if I'm not mistaken. Mm-hmm. Um, um, my birthday, um, normally I do travel for my birthday, but this year, considering I just traveled in October and I have travel plans in November, I decided to make it a staycation of sorts. Um, I kept the time off um, because the men's course was having their retreat um, that same weekend. It had gotten moved, so it made sense to just go ahead and just stay home and work on the retreat and um, have fun with that. Um, Jim and I um, went to dinner on Thursday um, to a Argentinian steakhouse or yeah, Argentinian pub, I believe is what it's called. Um, it was a pretty good meal. It could have been better. I will own that. But it was a pretty good meal. Um, the desserts were amazing. Um, and then Halloween, um, not that long ago, about last last week. Um, it was cold AF. <laughs> mm-hmm. But um, it was pretty good. Um we had about we had over two hundred kids um, throughout the night, the two hours, and um, it. I was. I mean, we always expect more, but the weather I think kept a lot of people away or out or indoors, as it were. We had thought about doing. Um, we tried doing the um, having the door like being at the front door and just having people come up and knock. Mm-hmm. But um, that wasn't happening because I think in this day and age, people don't do that anymore. I guess they don't do it as much or do it anymore. Although I know they do it because I literally saw kids doing it to the ho- one of the houses across the street. But whatever. They weren't coming up to our door. I'm assuming because they couldn't tell that the light was on because of the way our porch light run- works. It's on in the ceiling of the porch, so you can't really see it. Anyway, no big whoop. Um, I braved it. I wore my onesie um, and some clothes underneath it and stood outside and um, um, passed out the candy. Jim stayed inside, and um, although we had the door open, so it wasn't exactly like he was completely, you know, closed off. Um, but uh, he uh, he helped by, like, getting the candy bowls filled so that we can, you know, exchange them. And um, keeping me company and keeping watch over things. And that was really kind. I liked, we had several people, because, you know, if you've seen Jim, you know what Jim looks like. Um, you know that he's Santa. And I, we had several kids look in the house and be like, Santa? Like, Aww. so many times. It was so cute. Um, <laughs> but yeah. Um, so it was kind of fun. Um, that's pretty much it for me it was a good 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 busy month but and i had a good time and um well i guess there's one final thing if you've been following me on facebook you know that we did finally got the um um, photo shoot done for the cincinnati letter title holders our say leather and cincinnati critters um we got those photos done and i'm really impressed with these and i'm happy about that and glad that we got it um, taken care of Yay. Uh, yeah. And you have your official stole now? Yes, I do have the official stole. Yeah, that's been... I've had it for a little while. Actually, a couple of weeks. So, but... um, uh, We've had... It's been in Cincinnati for a little bit longer than that. Um, so, shout out to Shane Hutchison and Abraded Leather for doing that. Um, and that was a wonderful situation because, hey, guess what? We did something unprecedented. We, we tied and, um, since we both tied, it was like, well, there's, there needs to be two of everything. Mm -hmm. So two sashes, two patches, two lanyards with the, with the metal medallion and, 
um, to prize packages and all of that. So we had a lot of people in the community step up and um, donate funds to help cover that cost, which was really great. And um, then we had the stole made and we decided on the stole because, hey, um, the sash sometimes cannot be, it could be constrictive for someone who is a larger body person. Right. Um, and for future people, future title holders of the Sinsai Letter title, should they, hopefully there will not be more than one uh, in the future. <laughs> but, you know, and just in case, they didn't get a choice. They get a choice on which, you know, which one they want right. to lean on. So, which I think is kind of cool. And the stole is really nice. Um, I need to get it blacked. I need to get someone to put some boot leaven on it. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Gary. Um, so it's been a wild month. Because <laughs> oh it's the beginning of November, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So the last time we did this, it was the very beginning of October. Mm-hmm. And it has been five weeks since then. Mm-hmm. So usually we're only three weeks apart. And this time we're like four. Anyways, yeah. Um, so since the last time we talked, I did not know that mere days after we did our last What's Going On, um, that suddenly my supervisor would no longer be my supervisor. Oh. Or anybody's supervisor. Oh. Right. So that was awkward. And two days after that was our site visit from the state. Oh. Mm. <laughs> so that was the start of my month. Uh, the site visit went well. We got uh, some compliments. We have a couple of things we have to work on. It was much better than it was a year ago. Mm-hmm. So well, there's that. Um, yeah. So <laughs> I was wow. I was not ready. I was not ready for October. Basically, um, the following week. Um, I went to, I got a bucket list concert. Uh, I joined Drew uh, and a couple other folks and I drove over to Detroit and got to see Adam Lambert with Queen. Oh. Uh, uh, was a really good concert. Um, I'm very glad that I did it. Uh, yeah, it was, it was good, enjoyable. Um, yeah. So... That that's a theme of this year. When I do a retrospective of 2023, I think one of the highlights has been going to concerts. Um, so, because I went and saw Pink at the end of July, mm-hmm. and then I saw Queen in October, um, and in two days I'm going to another concert. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, that's the thing that's happening, and I haven't been now. to concerts in years. Right. Like so long. So yeah, that's that's a thing. Um, I became more active with the local union that I joined the executive board earlier this year. Um, I spent the month of October cleaning up their office, which kind of hadn't been touched since COVID. Mm-hmm. It just, you know, it, it, it's not, uh, no one's ever really there for long periods of time. And so it really needed a, um, a resort and some stuff. I mean, there's still some big project things that have to be done, but that was something I spent a bunch of my time doing on the weekends um, with that stuff. But yeah. So, and I'm trying to think, you know, there was, there were some other things throughout the the course of the month, but it just flew by like so fast um, that I was like, really? Like, did that happen already? Have we have we done those things? Um, so much so that I'm like, wow, we're we're already in the the eleventh month. Yeah. Are, are, do we have to be? Um, <laughs> like the time change thing was kind of oh. wild. Like so here's here's so here's the 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 latest strangest thing that's happened to me briefly. I go to bed last night and I'm like, okay, I'm going to bed. I'm going to bed early. And I'm going to get an extra hour of sleep or I'll get my normal good full amount of sleep and I'll wake up an hour earlier. It doesn't matter to me, but normally something happens and 
I don't ever really get the extra hour. Mm. Like a couple of years I stayed up and I was like gaming late or something, or I was like fell down a YouTube rabbit hole or something. And then like, I'm up for the time change, which means I don't get the hour. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> last night I'm going to bed and I'm like, okay, I'm going to go to bed early. And, um, I don't know if anybody is aware of this, but Google allows you to set up what are called Google alerts. So um, you can go into your Google account and you can tell it for a Google alert, like if this thing happens pretty much like on the web to inform you. And uh, long story short, I had one that came up that alerted me to something that I was like, that it wasn't exactly what I, what I thought it was. But anyways, I had to go look in the local paper for something. And I couldn't get the link to work, so then I was using the app, and I'm on the app, and I'm looking, uh, and I go back like a couple days. And anyways, there's this big two-page thing in the paper, and the pa- and this two big two-page thing looks like a big public notice. And normally, like I don't pay that close of attention to the stuff, but I know like our one of our local electric companies earlier this year had to like take out an ad in the paper for like four months straight or something silly about how like they're going to put a new transformer up in an area and basically there's a public notice and like a comment period that kind of stuff well anyways this thing's like two full big ass pages and i was like so i like swiped past the first one i swipe past the second one and i go like another page and then i'm like maybe i should go back and read that like and actually pay attention to it Mm -hmm. so i go back and it's about tax liens. Um, mm. their property is properties up for public sale. And I'm like, oh, okay, whatever. No, see me. I scroll down and I'm like looking at all the names of the property owners, like you know, mm-hmm. that have these liens or whatever. And I sw- and I go through the first page, nothing, no big deal, whatever, nothing I recognize. Go to the second page, a lot of the names are the same, and I'm barely paying attention. And then all of a sudden, I see a name and I go. Hmm. There's only one person in the whole wide world I know that has that name. I'm like, and it's a family member, but they're deceased. And they've been gone for a little while now. Well, wait, maybe not. Maybe it's somebody else. Or it's or it's the next generation. Anyways, long story short, I fell down a rabbit hole last night. I ended up looking up a deed online, paid an extra service to look up like the property tax record real estate thing to basically find out and have a very long conversation with one of my um, relatives today that yes, that legitimately is a piece of land that one of my family's own that has not had taxes paid on it in a couple of years <laughs> that uh-huh. the family talked about. I'm not sure how many people know about it. Yeah. Oh no. It was very strange. It was very strange. Oh dear. There will be more to the story later on, other than I just like <laughs> printed out a whole bunch of docs at about three in the morning, made a manila folder, met with um, a family member today. Like I texted him late last night when I first started to discover this. I was like, do you have time to get together to chat? And they're like, sure, we could do it by phone or whatever. And so we pinged each other and then we got together this afternoon at a local bookstore and had a very long catch up because we haven't seen each other in a long time. Talked about a great many things, but the first thing I showed them and all I had to show them was the first of all the stack of papers and they go, Oh, I know what this is about. And I'm like, you do right. And I'm like, really? And they're like, yeah, funny story. And then they connected some dots and I was like, this is wild. And here I was thinking nobody in the family knew about this and maybe hardly anyone does, but it's not that big of a deal, but it's so strange to me. And I said to this family member today, I don't know what possessed me to look at that in the paper. I really don't. I have mm-hmm. no reason to pay attention to that. It wasn't on my radar. I don't really know those things really, but so anyways, they're going to, they're going to have a powwow with some of the family members and talk about this thing because we just have a couple of weeks before there's a public auction. Oh Yeah. So, yep. um, yeah, that's it. Well, not all about it, but I know that shit. <laughs> right, right, right. So I was like, this is wild. This is so strange. Like, it's like a big mystery in the family. And then come to find out, well, the one person I reached out to already kind of knew about this existing, right. but they didn't know right. about the leak and they didn't mm-hmm. know about the tax. Too. Um, so yeah, that's a whole thing. That's a whole thing yet to be discovered, but that was the, that was the most recent revelation (laughs) in the past weeks. Wow. Amongst all the, the stuff. 
work's been um, super busy and it's just going to get busier for the next month and a half or at least five weeks or so. And it's November and I've had time off and a holiday. Just it's jam packed. You know, it's a reminder, like that's the big thing. If I talk about if my brother had not been paying taxes on my dad's house Mm. this whole time. And I now I wouldn't have had to deal with all the stuff I dealt with earlier this year, but um, it would have been I wouldn't have gotten anything out of it. I'll put it like that. Yeah, I mean, well, and that that is kind of the wildest thing to me, the way this whole thing's worked out. I'm just like. And and like the family member and I kind of talked about the pros and cons, like. Do we like do something as a family or don't we because if no one really knew about it and no one really cares like is it that big of a deal because financially it's not really that significant Mm -hmm. so it's like do you just not do anything and i said like had i not found it would we have ever known would anybody ever have discovered or paid attention to it probably not Mm -hmm. so there's that there's that so that was a whole thing that happened (laughs) um yeah 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 so it's been uh, interesting. Outside of the three of us, uh, a couple of things have happened. Um, I just want to give some recognition. So Bear World Magazine uh, did an awards show, um, and they gave – oh, hell, I'm going to get this wrong. I just know it. Hang on. i got to look it up. Um, they gave a award of recognition, and I'm going to see if I can find it. Um Da, 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 da. I don't care about your cookies. Stop yelling at me. I don't You're want your so ad. So well prepared for these shows. Well, I just thought of it a moment ago, and it occurred to me um, that I wanted to give the recognition because I thought it was important. Um, come on, keep scrolling. Uh, <laughs> so, Ali Lopez was recognized as the first ever Bear World icon. And Adam Rodriguez Rout was given the first Bear World Trailblazer Award. Um, which I thought was pretty awesome. And what really made me fall down this particular rabbit hole is the best bear representation in the media award goes to Joshua Pangborn. Ah. Yeah. Yay, Joshua. He was up against Brian Sims, Dexter Mayfield, Guy Branham, Harvey uh, Gillian, and uh, Yamil Yamyam Orocho. So, yeah. Like, and that just happened this weekend. Uh, and uh, where am I looking at? Across the best beer musician was Nakia. Um, so a bunch of familiar names and things. So I was just like, wow, look at that. So I just want to give him a quick shout out. Hey. So that was nice. Sends me in a flashback to uh, when we used to do our annual review of the best of bears. I can't remember what the site that did it was during the first generation. I, yeah, I kind of remember listening to that. Um, it's funny because I was just thinking, like, well, surely if we had a database or something, <laughs> it would be an easy thing to just, you know, kind of look and search. Um, but, yeah, the last one was in 2010. Uh, I did it a couple of times. Yeah, but you didn't say who. <laughs> you listed all the stuff that pe- of the of who got what, but you didn't list who does the list. <laughs> Sorry, I just think it's funny. Yeah, link it. Uh, I don't know. Not a not a last one. Like, like all these all the winners are linked, but like linked to their direct whatever it is. Like you know the DJ, the bar, whatever. It's to their actual website, which is what amuses me at the moment. So I'm just like. Um, 
Damon, are you listening to music? No. <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> you're bopping up and down and vibrating in rhythm, so <laughs> just be aware of that. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, is oh Bear Nation. Bear. No. Yeah, that's right. The Complete Bear. Sorry, Bear Nation was a winner. Which is defunct nowadays. Yeah. Agreed. So anyways, I just wanted to give him a shout out. Hey. Yeah. That's a thing. And with that, it's time for this. <laughs> Gary, what's been going on over in the Facebooks? Uh, I'm not on there very much personally, uh, but a lot of people followed and liked us oh yeah this past month like maybe the most ever i don't know it's it's a bunch so i'm gonna say this in advance i apologize if i butcher your name uh because i don't necessarily know the proper pronunciation of all of them uh but that being said we would like to thank joseph moore blake king uh jose frank jeffrey phillips um, md mono sin michael dave brent franklin Claude Jones, Kevin Melson, Bob Collier, uh, Mauricio Kincapi, Kevin Archie, Bear Wolf, Quinton Martin, Oxfar Jemshayed, Alex James, Timothy Buckhard, John Coughlin, Stephen Clifton, James C. Kennedy, uh, Jerry Hummer, and Mitsuhiro Inoue, Zizi La Pasta Custom, uh, Mike Jackson, Ed Broclay, Lawrence Fernandez, Ciro Lava, Bruce Bryan, Polani Sammy, Ray's Rays, Roberto Preciato, uh, Roger Wright, Anthony Judisky, Lily Brown, John Sapp, Neil Ogden, Keith Garside, and Sergey Sergey. Welcome. Over three dozen new following liking people. Wow. Yeah. It's a lot. <laughs> nice. Thank you for liking. <laughs> so Thank with you. Me. We appreciate that. Hey. Damon, how about uh, over in YouTube? Um, we got a new subscriber in Matthew Walker. And we got a comment on our COL 713, which was our what's going on for September, from um, Pro Hoda. And he said, thank you. Awesome picture. Camera emoji. Video camera emoji. I have no idea what they're talking about. I, I don't either. I have this weird <laughs> feeling it's somebody trying to, to have people like click on their thing to go to their thing. Yeah. The mic it's possible. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> but it, they did I, have I, something I really, go up four days ago. I didn't... Uh, I wasn't able to determine what it was about, so... I figured we'd recognize it. That's okay. Meanwhile... I mean, there were... If there was our what's going on, then there's the... You know... The tweets and such, so they could have clicked the link. But Maybe it's anyway... Maybe. Yeah. Uh, please be more specific in your comments. What part of the show did you like? Which picture are you referring to? Right. We didn't even show a picture. It was a video, so it wasn't really a picture. But that's beside the point. Maybe they, <laughs> li- maybe they liked our thumbnail. I don't know. In any case, over on on Patreon, we had a uh, patron, um, Hadrian. I'm not. Sh- is is not. 100% familiar with him. Uh, commented on uh, COL 714, Daddy is back, uh, which strange that his name's Hadrian because we had Hadrian on that show. Uh, he said, Loved getting to share my brand of crazy with you guys. Thank you for being the best cheer squad bear porn star could wish for. Star. Why do you look confused, Damon? <laughs> okay. That, that can be a conversation for post show. 
<laughs> That's what I, I was wondering, Jeff. And I'm glad you asked because I was like, "Wow, David really has no reaction to that." So sorry, I was. I will. I will admit I was not paying attention because I was. I saw something odd, but it is a conversation for post show. Okay. Speaking of Patreon, Gary, what updates do we have on Patreon? Um. So we want to give a shout out to Lloyd, who joined <gasps> us. Uh, in November of 2019, four years ago. Yay. So happy anniversary, buddy. Uh, four years of supporting the podcast. We greatly appreciate it. Thank you um, for and- all the pounds. <laughs> Never mind. I'm not gonna, I just I'm needed not gonna to let the out. pregnant pause sit there because. Yeah, I'll let you all fill that imagination in. Uh, I'll um, let you all. Uh, figure out the plan. Doesn't take much. Excuse you. <laughs> That's not what I meant. Some honey. of us need, different, need to get right. Anyways, moving I mean, on. It didn't take much to get to the, to, the, to the pun. You're the one that took it a certain way. Uh, so what were you thinking? That's part of the whole joke. Anyways, uh, so this month <laughs> we were surprised and honored to have the one. The only Hadrian become a Patreon supporter of Cubs Out Loud. Been so on the show for so many times, and now he's a patron of the show as well. Yeah. Means he can tell us what to do. He's our boss, apparently, because he's getting his money. Eh. So. <laughs> okay, enough about Jeff's fantasy. So we. That's just fair. <laughs> <laughs> so no it was a uh, so yeah it was it was good to have you about so now we give big bear cub hugs to our patrons at the cubster level charles w daniel c and michael k and at the uber level dave t lee michael q and tim s and our buddies hadrian lloyd g and michael v yay so Thank you all very much for supporting us. We greatly, greatly appreciate it. Patreon has made some big changes in the past month. Um, now, um, I think they've had an app for a while. I did not know that. Yeah. And uh, but it got a rebrand and all of this stuff. And so now there's like chat mechanisms and all sorts of stuff. Um, we'll see what happens with that uh, if we get that active on there. But yeah, it was. Uh... Yeah. It... Now, I appreciate Michael V. Uh, it's just for some strange reason when I saw saw Michael V on there, I was like, "Oh no, that is not Michael Dennis Cup." <laughs> no, but as we learned in episode seven fourteen, Hadrian and Venice Cup are still right connected in each other's lives. Yes, yes. very much so. Very much so. So, speaking of shows. <laughs> yeah, so this month, um, back in 713, uh, we did the What's Going On for the month of September. And a week later, we were graced, titillated, taunted, tantalized uh, by Daddy Hadrian in the Daddy is Back episode. Uh, we were so excited to have him return and talk to us. And it was a fun, lively conversation. Indeed. Um we got caught up on their life of the past couple of years since they were on um, and what's been going on, what they've been up to and how they like strangely, like in the way the universe works are back to doing what they used to do and yet doing it in a new and different way. Right. So if you haven't like listened to it or watched that episode, you really should. Episode seven fifteen, uh, we had a uh, pup Zio, um, AKA AJ come and join us for a, let's talk about the future of events where we were discussing, um, about how things have changed post COVID and, um, trying to modify to meet the needs of the current day and what that is. And also like the, the challenges of like small versus very large events, mm-hmm. um, those kind of things. And then the week later we had our third guest week in a row, <laughs> Boy, was it a good month. Um, so we did a let's talk about kink, the hand key code, 
quiz time. I almost said handy, just for the record, in case you were wondering <laughs> what happened there. I almost said handy code, but it's hanky code quiz time. Although I'm sure there's a hanky for that. Um, <laughs> I'm looking to David. I just expect him to blurt out the color. Um, <laughs> so, uh, Cubs's came on, Tony was on, and was kind of our game show host um, and quizzed us on various categories a la a certain quiz show that people are familiar with that has categories and changing points. And and I do have to somewhat apologize because I didn't realize that the share screen also brought over audio in addition to his regular feed. So you might have heard a little echo when he was sharing his screen for the game. Oh, okay. Okay. I didn't realize that. That's 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 a production issue. I will remember well, that for the future. I will. I was gonna it was say the first time we did that. We've ever done that. So right, and it went so well. We kind of talked about whether or not to do it again, because um, mm. there's more colors, more patterns, more things out there for Damon to win all the flowers. <laughs> Although I got second place. I was going to say, yeah. and for Jeff to take second place and for me to come in last. So, you know. After me having absolutely no luck or, or, or confidence of knowing any of them. Right. Of course, I think also, Gary and I probably guess as much. <laughs> well, and to be fair, uh, no one's surprised that I was bringing up the rear. Moving on. Uh, <laughs> COL 717, which was last week's episode, Landscape of Relationship with Dr. Edward Angelini Cook, came for the fourth week in a row of guests. October <laughs> was so full. It was like a gangbang of a podcast. Uh, we talked about heal healing <laughs> our queer inner child. Boy, was that a horrible segue. Um <laughs> <laughs> I'm sleep deprived, obviously. <laughs> I, I, I think all, being, all the silliness and everything is very much uh, being, uh, utilizing our inner child, even though we're making a lot of sex jokes, which is not necessarily children appropriate. But still. Well, you know. We, uh, it, was, it, it was a good month. So. It was a star studded. It was. There you go. Month. How do you like and that? Then... Happy Halloween. Uh, that being said, I'm going to say it now so people don't miss it uh, at the end. Uh, we're taking a week away. So y'all enjoy the the week off. Um, we will not be here next week. So just enjoy that. This is what happens when we have guest after guest after guest. We're spent and we need a refractory period to recover. Uh, we did have five shows last month, so we're yeah. just like taking one of those and considering that as part of November. So we have <laughs> we still net four shows each month. So there we go. Uh, sure. For those of you who are supporting us on Patreon, you're getting the same amount. There's no bonus show for for having five Sundays last month. That's all I'm saying. Gotcha. Yeah. Mm. Uh, the... yeah. Big and porn. <laughs> uh, I got one. Yay! Uh, last minute, really, kind of, because I just found this before, but I oh. thought it was cute. Hmm. Hello. I call it hair haircut and bid. Beard trim by at Joe the Bear, uh, Joe the Barber SF from Thirsty McBearface. Mm. T McBearface at T McBearface on on X, the the website formerly known as Twitter, although it's still Twitter dot com. Yeah, T McBearface. Mm -hmm. Uh oh, T McBearface. God damn it. <laughs> Well, let's say TMC Bearfaces. Anyway. Anyways, um, yeah. uh, handsome, salty. Mm -hmm. uh, he doesn't have much pepper. 
okay. uh, man I'm referring to tear as a, a like it looks like PBS. <laughs> but he also has a nice nice butt. He says mm-hmm. juicy dump truck ass by Bulgin split squats. Or Bulgarian <laughs> split squats. There you go. <laughs> I don't want so to hot and flustered, can't even read the spot. caption. <laughs> now that my gay powers are maximized, I'm going to squander it by sitting at home alone and play Diablo 4. Like a true fat guy. I, I, I appreciate that. Diablo 4, <laughs> nice game. Uh, I, I haven't taken the time to play much of it, but uh, from the stuff that I have played, I like it. Mm, good. But, yeah, I did see this, and I thought it was a good photo, and I appreciated the the cheeky, like, no pun intended on my end, caption comment about the squats <laughs> to give them their their butt. I thought that was cute. I was like, oh, that's nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. I mean, anyway. I, I, like, I like Big Bear Oz's uh, 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 reply. I'm loving Diablo 4 too. Dot 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 in this picture. Funny that. So Damon, what are your choices? So I did give you three, and you know I didn't even count them. I just said choices out of habit because you've been on a roll for a while now with two a month. So I just yeah. like, and then you're like, oh, I got three, and I'm like, okay, yeah. well, on my part, I guess. Yeah, this is this is. <laughs> I could not decide so and there's a bit of a theme you'll see it so um the first one is monochromatic monday and it's from um comic tastic underscore one um and this is october which was a thing that was going on on the twitters and blue skies and what have you um i just i i really like the picture i really like the person in the picture um, he did a lot of Jocktober pictures. I said, I think he did one every day, um, posted every day and that kind of thing. So that was kind of cool. So, yeah, I like, I like their, um, yeah, I like the black and white. Yeah. It's funny because sometimes I see color photos and they're done black and white and I'm like, eh, that's, that's not that great. This one looks really good, I will say. And yet another daddy. Uh, he's furry. Mm-hmm. Jiminy. You're seeing the theme. <laughs> oh, is that? Okay. Yeah. Um, Aw, I like how people put gray and white hearts in the comment thread. Yes. That's cute. So the next one, um, we were talking about him earlier, but the next one I is titled... Um, what dad wants, and it's actually a video, um, from Jim Bear NYC, and it says, just letting dad do what he wants, and the at, it's at Colorado Bear 18127213, which is our favorite Venice Cup. Okay, thank you. I'll watch that later. <laughs> Y'all got really quiet. <laughs> well, it's about a, a minute and two seconds of stuff that's probably really good. And uh, anyways, yeah, you might want to wait to watch it. Yes. <laughs> oh, I, and I, I can't play it now because it's, I can't have the sound over. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Well, um, and we'd also get get probably flagged in YouTube for the first like five seconds of things that get said in that video. So yes, 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 yes. That one here. And then the final one is, um, I titled come here, boy. And it's from devil bear to 2099. And it says, come here, big boy. I need you to do something. And it's a sexy leather bear. Um, with 
some boots, some gloves, some wristbands, a mercap, and nothing else. Uh, uh, yeah. Yes. Sorry, I'm scrolling. Through, I'm scrolling through the comment thread really quick because I'm like, I know some of these people. Like, what's cracking me up is like reading their comments to this particular posting. But wow. Mm-hmm. Um. Yeah, there's something about this that is like, yeah, it, it's a little grainy as a picture. So I mm-hmm. think that there was an aesthetic choice to like do that. But yeah, it reminds me a lot of old school print magazine like yeah. um like right out of like honcho right. or bear magazine yeah. it's like very much giving very that vintage. like yeah, yeah very vintage it was probably the filter it. that he used was probably called the vintage well <laughs> i mean but it's i remember aesthetically back then that like there were posed photos, but like sometimes the, the, the posed photo had like kind of a context of mm-hmm. a story within it. And this one is very much evocative, like big daddy bear, like the 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 come hither finger in the mast or in mm-hmm. the gloved hand. Like, yeah, like it's just it will it will make it will make some boys weak in the knees. I just know that. Yes, it did. Um <laughs> It's There's okay a lot that. of yes sir replies. Let's just say that. Yeah. This is very this is this is very fun. This is very um yeah. This is kind of weakness for me. <laughs> I would just put that out. I was just gonna say Damon <laughs> yeah. specifically. Button, 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 button. Yeah. Oh no, 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 no. It wasn't it wasn't so much that. It was it was this big ass button like, <laughs> kind of kind of thing. Yeah. yeah. Luckily, the batteries are dead in that, so it didn't go off. Anyways, those on the audio podcast, he held up one of the Staples Easy buttons. <laughs> and I wasn't saying that David's easy, but I just and Damon's now putting up a, the his size of the fan. button. Yeah, absolutely. That. Nice. Oop, sorry, hitting a lot of my buttons. Understandable. Yeah. There you go. And if you didn't know the theme, the theme was daddies. Um, and furry daddy. Yeah, furry daddies. Although to be mm-hmm. fair, uh, Daddy Venice Cub, um, he hasn't really gone necessarily salt and pepper. But I suppose he's very he's, blonde. He's kind of cinnamon sugar. Yeah. Right. Cinnamon sugar. Okay. Cinnamon sugar. But it's still, yeah. he's still very daddy in that in the video like he's always been daddy that too but yeah anyway that part gary so i've got two uh selections this month uh the first one is just called lights because that's what the caption is and i just really love this little yeah uh video it's uh 31 seconds long I just, there's something mesmerizing about it. So this guy is nude in his living room I be, or bedroom. Um, but I don't know where he is because uh, there's like these, this full wall cabinetry closet, something or other behind him. But the, the whole point is that he's nude and he's holding a light wand mm-hmm. that like is kind of like an under shelf light. Yeah. For lack of a better way to phrase it, but it's obviously battery operated, but it's in sort of slow mo, and he's possibly like dancing or moving to music, but he's just swinging it around, and it's the only light in the camera shot. So there's no other light. It's like dark, pitch blackish, and it's just wild, like watching yeah. this light move around him in this very kind of like artistic fashion. Because you're getting, like, glimpses of the curvature of his body and, like, but the surroundings, so there's, like, shadow play. I don't know. I just really loved it. I was, like, really, really taken with this. Um, This is really kind of fun. I really like this. It made me... sound to it? No. I mean, I have it cranked all the way up and I don't hear anything. I I don't think 
I don't think he's actually playing any music or something, or if he is, it's one of those, like, uh, atmospheric ambient type of thing, so it's not really right, yeah. dance, and he's just slowly moving. Yeah. So I don't think it's, but, it's like, actually in slow motion, he's just doing it at a slow I, pace. I, what I liked it so much about it is I was like, God, like, if there was a photographer... Mm-hmm. I think it would be amazing to like capture some of this as either stills or something like for like photographic artistry. Cause I just yeah. really love some of, yeah. of the, the images created, yeah. even though it's like a motion thing. And for those people who might turn on, uh, looks like he's uncut. <laughs> yes. Like, like that's the thing is he is he is totally nude, Buckass naked, and he has very much like the um, standard thick ish, you know, body from the shoulders down through like thick thighs and and calves. Like he's just very stocky. Um, but yeah, like I don't know. There's just something about yeah. it that I just really, really I can like see seeing. I can see this going. I mean, I can see this being a photography project, like something along those lines, trying to capture a good image with the light hitting, like getting that light and shadow that Chiara Scott, Scott, that's what it was, um, to like play with that and have the the photographs made. The video is amazing. It's entrancing in a sense, but the the idea of potentially doing this and having those photo, those still photos and capturing like a really great moment where you get a nice like part of the body lit up with a lot of shadow around it. That could be fun. Yeah. I just really liked it. So, mm-hmm. yeah. Um, mm-hmm. My mm-hmm. second one is called full body tattoo, which is technically part of the, the caption. Um, and this is by uh, Think Thinkid Jink, um, Jacques Kiros, and it says turned into a living painting. And so it's a very curious picture because he's standing nude next to a clock that has a New York City outline type thing. His face is slightly blurred, which I think his face is slightly blurred in all those pictures. Um, uh, and his uh, which I'm gonna call it like his tagline or whatever you want to call it description of his uh, a profile says life and thoughts of a gay model um, hear the best erotic art from me and stuff I like. Um, but he is tattooed from the shoulders down to his elbows, like half sleeves and then literally across his chest all the way down his body to his toes. Yeah. And it's not that I've never seen like full body ink before, right? but like, if it wasn't for, <laughs> I'm just going to call it out. If it wasn't for the pink head on his erection, I wouldn't have clocked that he is, that it is all ink because it almost looks like it's a bodysuit. Mm. Like it's a spandex, like skin suit or something. Like I, it's just because most of the ink on the upper portion of him is colored in, uh, and then the from about the knees, just above the knees down, is looking very tribal. But I'm curious to see if he's going to have it filled in at all or not. But I just was like totally taken, like mesmerized by the visual of it. I was like, wow! And it's very stark because he has a definitive ring on his chest around his neck. So like if he was dressed, like in a suit and had the Mm -hmm. sleeves rolled up and had no tie on a button down shirt, you probably wouldn't be able to clock this at all. Mm -hmm. Like it, it, like there's been some intention in the choice of like where the ink stops and stuff. And I'm just like, wow. Anyways, um, if you check out his profile and look at stuff, um, just a fair warning. Uh, he is into sounding. Uh, so that would be something that you see. Uh, but, yeah, like he just has this full ink art and it goes like 360 around his body and stuff. Here's, and here's the thing that kind of gets me is the fact that he has tattoo practically like halfway up his dick. 
Right. Well, it goes up most of the way. And when he's erect, it goes pretty much all the way up to near the phallus, like, like to the, to, to the head. I'm curious if he is, I think, yeah, he's, he's uncut. Yes. That's what I'm trying to, that's what I was trying to see. And there is a picture. If you scroll back a, a little while of him on all fours from behind and the tattoo ink goes all the way to the crack of his rear house. Like, yeah, he is pretty much tattooed almost every inch. Wow. And like I said, I've I've met people and talked to them that have been like fully inked. Um, it's just. I don't know how to describe it. It's kind of like a coloring book come to life. Mm hmm. Um, It's very interesting. Yeah, so, I, there's, that's very nice. Sorry, I need it. There's, a, there's the video where you're seeing the butt. There's a, it, it's quite interesting. Um, oh, and he has, yeah. a, and he's Pierce. He has a PA. Yeah, that's, that's another random aside. Um, what I, what's kind of interesting to me is I used to make jokes about like this is when I was in my late twenties and my thirties. If I saw a guy with like a lot of tattoo ink work, um one way in which I might make uh, a pass at them like to flirt with them or whatever is to make a comment about like what it would be like to have someone lick their tattoo like lines. <laughs> to be fair with this gentleman, like th this is an all day affair, if not a whole weekend. <laughs> <laughs> it would be, it would be a lot of time investment in the, um, 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 post you shared it does someone asked how long did it take and he said about 20 years so this what so for those okay. looking at all of this and being like what wow that's a lot of tattoos that is a lot of tattoos over the course of 20 years yeah this it's, isn't it's, a you're gonna sit down and get all this done at once no oh no 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 never, no like never yeah so just but it, it looks the the thing I'm loving the most is I kind of keep looking at the pictures is it you can in some ways and this is me being like you can tell like some of the older ones to some of the younger ones as you kind of look through at his body and everything and it's just it is very entrancing. Um, ah, there's a picture of him in a looks like he's. Well, unsuit, but he's um, he's got like a a shirt, a tie, and it looks like some suit pants on. And obviously, they're in and shovel, um, disheveled as he's kind of taking it off, so you can kind of see things. So I'm wondering, like you said, there's probably some in, very much some intention behind where he placed his tattoos. Maybe he's a businessman or something along those lines, and and doesn't want the tattoos to show too much. So very, it's rather interesting. Yeah, I mean, I just think it's visually appealing. Because there's some really good photos, like mm -hmm. just some artistic like, shots of him in certain poses. And I'm like, wow. Um, so, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Wow, 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 wow. Intriguing. Intriguing. I mean, I, I guess my feeling on it is like, if you're willing to turn your body into a piece of art, so be it. Right. Okay. 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 Stop looking at him. Uh, <laughs> well, I, I will fall down. I will fall down a rabbit hole at all of that. Yeah. Anyway. I mean, that's what's our pick this week, Gary. Uh, I don't think I picked it before, so I just wanted to say, uh, this coming week is the very last episode of the new Loki season two on Disney Plus. Um, it is very timey wimey, like. I don't know how else to explain it. You just got to watch it. It is. Some people have been saying, and I kind of have to agree. It's probably some of the best Marvel Disney television. Wow. To date. It is so aesthetically pleasing and really kind of is in that, that mode of give, leaving you guessing, not sure what's going to happen next. And there is one episode left. It's only six episodes this season. Um, it has gone so quickly. This last episode, some people have said they thought might be the best episode ever. 
of any Marvel like television show on any network. Um, yeah, like it's there's a thing that happens. Um, all I'm going to say is some people felt that they were feeling the same feelings as when they watched the snap. Mm. Like it was just so like kind of, uh, I guess visceral, uh, seeing some things happen. So, and I know that Marvel's had some issues this year on a couple of fronts. And so, uh, there's a new book out that's talking about like the past couple of years and all the stuff that happened behind the scenes and why some shows didn't do well and some movies and blah, blah, blah. Like Mm. it's very, interesting as a person who wasn't one that really read the comic books to like have fallen down um the whole of, of what is marvel now um from disney but yeah so and the marvels the movie is coming out uh as well this week on the 10th which is the very same day that well roughly basically the same day that the last episode of loki is airing mm. So that some people are speculating, there's no proof, some people are speculating that possibly the end of Loki connects to the movie. Interesting. Some people are also saying, don't give them that much credit. <laughs> 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 but they've done it before. True. true, true. So, um, but no, Tom Hiddleston is so, so damn good in it. Um, and Kiwe Kwong is in it, who... Um, was just in and you know won the Oscar for Everything Everywhere All at Once. Um, who has returned to Hollywood and is doing so well. Um, he's a new character that got introduced this season that is so intriguing. And yeah, there's just all this speculation about like what's happening and um, the whole like he who remains Kang thing. And because of what's happening with Jonathan Majors in real life. There's like all the speculation that they're trying to like shift away from that character um, as the big bad for the new like chapter phase, whatever. Anyway, so I've just really, really enjoyed this particular season um, because some other season shows haven't been that good. Um, But this one has been very, very enjoyable. And if you also have Disney Plus, I don't have it linked here, but um, just this past Friday was the live airing of the rock and roll hall of fame inductee ceremony um it's long i'm going to warn you now it's almost four hours um but it's very good um so if you like the artists that are that are in it i suggest you go check it out it took me actually a couple of days to watch the whole thing because i just (laughs) couldn't bring myself to sit that long four hours yeah well, it because because not only are there inductions like to people being inducted to the Hall of Fame, but like there's different awards, and then of oh. course people there's performances, which is what's nice about it. So you get to see some people perform. Um, uh, yeah. So um, Missy Misdemeanor oh. has been inducted. So she is the first black female rapper inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, which is a big goddamn deal. Um, She is the last act. She's the last thing. And her performance, man, like, it's so interesting. I I mean, I just, it really reminded me of, like, how much I appreciate, like, the artistry. Oh, and since I'm on a Disney Plus kick, there's also another Behind the Attraction season. Um, so if you're a person who likes that kind of stuff and how things are made and that uh, kind of a thing, they have another part of that. So they're really on a roll at the moment. So, yeah, but well, that's it. Maybe that mm. that's the end of another what's going on for the previous month. Join us next month where we talk about November, which will only have three shows. Don't worry, you got an extra one this 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 one. So we're we're even. Just remind you of that. <laughs> Anyways, there's plenty of ways to contact us if you have any thoughts, opinions, or think any of the sexy bears that we pointed out were sexy. You can find links to all those Twitter p- posts 
over on our website, comesoutloud.com. She has an email at comesoutloud at gmail.com. Leave us a voicemail at 361 Talk. That's 361-265-8255. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube at Cubs Out Loud in the appropriate place of the URL. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Please. Please. Uh, See what you've done? You've resorted to Jeff begging you. Give you an ass shot? No. Um, <laughs> you can join our entourage chat at bit.ly slash telegram dash ncol or uh, find out when we're planning on recording these shows. Check out our Google Calendar at bit.ly slash calendar dash col. You can get various equipment such as a made to be shirt that, that Gary's wearing. As you can see, you can have it in a sweater, not just a t shirt. You can get it in an extra goddamn comfortable hoodie. I'm just telling you right now, this thing is so goddamn comfortable. I'm like, <laughs> like I have another one that is way more comfortable than this, but that one is to lounge around the house. This is the one that you can wear out. And like, even this design is, is just as good as what like Damon's got with the version three logo. You could just wear it out in public and people aren't really going to, you know, just raise remember. an eyebrow and question you about when you it. when you go to purchase one of the shirts it allows you to select options which includes colors and styles such as instead of a t-shirt you can get a sweatshirt you can get various different types of fabric t-shirts etc uh you can also get a couple of that hat um mugs handy towels oh, i just happen to have one the mugs right here too Various things. I was lazy and didn't put on a Cubs Out Loud shirt today. This is not available from us. This is a different shirt. Uh, all on our Zazzle store at zazzle.com slash Cubs Out Loud. Some of those designs were designed by Smashy. You can find more of his work at tpublic.com slash user slash Smashy the Bear. We love Smashy. You can also become a Patreon such just like Hadrian McQuaig. Porn star extraordinaire. At patreon.com slash Cubs Out Loud. You can also send us a donation at paypal.me slash Cubs Out Loud. Please, over on your po favorite podcasting platform where you can find us, please rate us, review us, like us. Um, the more you do that, the higher up in the route we're going to get, more people will find us. Share your love for Cubs Out Loud. You can find me kind of on the internet as box that box puppy box cub box up there or other. You can find me in Final Fantasy 14, but. Um, not in very many places. I, I've got multiple characters, which is weird for that game, considering you can do everything on just one character. I'm just weird that way. Uh, I'm also Elagos on the Grizzly Falls Discord. There we go. That's one where you can actually find me. Damon? Um, if you wish to get in touch with me, you can find me at theatercup 79 That's T R E C. Fine, I'm listed. You can find me as pup underscore umbra on Twitter. You can find me as pup umbra seven nine on Sky. Those are definitely not safe for work. Gary, can you? If you would like to get in touch with me, you can pretty much find me anywhere online as Gabriel seven three up to it, including now, Blue Sky. I've actually been on there for about a month or more well, for a little bit. For you. <laughs> Thank you, darn everybody. Good night, everybody. Have a good one, y'all.